Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mud into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! So the next picture, and this is a water what I brought, it's called Svalbardi from Norway. And this picture, uh, the, the bottle already is kind of stunning. Because I will want to open this Which right bottle now. is it? It's, it's this one? Oh, the one that's in the... This is like what you buy high-end liquor comes yeah. in a case yeah. like that. It has the price of a high-end liquor. It does? So it runs $150 in the restaurant. Get out of here. Yes, 50 bucks it costs you when you want to buy it retail, and $150 we are charging at the restaurant, but we are selling it. People are really addicted to it. <sighs> really? really interesting. Yeah. So is this a flat water? Yes, I brought wow. three still waters today. I thought, like, today is a, a still November month. We're drinking still water. Still water. This is from Norway? From Norway. This comes from, from the Antarctic. So it's a polar iceberg water. So the mineral content obviously is extremely low. It's 21 TDS. Mm -hmm. Very, very low. Because this water has never been touched on the ground. It's like rainwater drips down. It goes right away on the ice glacier and freezes up. This water is around 15,000 years old. What's in the bottle right here? And... Uh, I see the picture right here. So they're harvesting these icebergs. I know some people would say, like, are you nuts, Martin? So you, you, we all know, like, global warming and everything. Yeah. Now you're, like, taking the icebergs even away. He's yeah. like, no, these are icebergs who are breaking down, like, totally normal. Mm -hmm. They're starting to dilute then into the North Sea. And when they are diluted, you cannot use that water anymore because then it's, like, heavily salted. Yeah. So they're picking up these huge icebergs. And you can see, like, they are tons. They are super heavy. They have their own vessel. They're picking up these icebergs and then melting them down into this bottle. So it's something very cost intensive and therefore cost intensive and also it's not gonna be that they're not gonna make millions no, of bottles. No, no, no. So I think they did ten thousand bottles last year. So that's why the price point yes. is gonna be elevated. It's something very, very unique. Um that's fascinating. So it's a very fun, interesting water to start your sober November, maybe. Oh my goodness. And it's gonna be as you mentioned, a pretty low Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But but it's still a distinct flavor or no? That's the interesting part. So I had three bottles already in tasting and all three bottles tasted slightly different. And that makes sense because it's a mother it's a product of nature again. And all these icebergs, they're floating into the sea. So sure. obviously all these icebergs have a slightly different flavor to it. And the name again is? Svalbardi. Svalbardi is a region in Norway and they're calling that water as well Svalbardi. So let's see what this version tastes like. Mm-hmm. To me, it's very smooth. Yeah. Like definitely. very, very smooth. I think so too. It's very smooth, but it has, when you drink it, and it's it's right away gone. Mm -hmm. There's like, it's almost dries out your palate, I think. Yeah. It doesn't really have this refreshing aspect to it. That's interesting. And that is because it's lacking minerals. Because it's lacking minerals. Yes. Because there's not enough minerals in there, so your your body and your mouth saying like, hey, what's oh, going on? Can we get some more? Can I get yeah. some more? Because there's like barely anything in there. So I want more water to get more minerals. Interesting. But it's a good water. I like it. It's extremely, because it's so smooth, it's very nice for wines. So when you have like a tannin-rich red wine or something like yeah, that, yeah. or maybe a whiskey, yeah. what you just told me. So um, that will very, very cool work with this because this this heaviness of alcohol will be smoothed away of this very smooth water. So it's a, it's a very good water. And I don't want to drink everything because I think your wife, Christina, need to drink something as well. And she will kill both of us, I think, when we... Probably. When we're killing the bottles here yeah. just for us and so we, don't, we don't share. That's it. um wouldn't be mean. But I have to say that is a very pleasurable tasting. In other words... Uh, oh I, yeah, it's it's enjoyable. I think so too. It's not. It's something that you go like, oh okay. I mean, yeah. it's a satisfying sip of water. Oh absolutely. It um, wouldn't satisfy my pocket, I have to say, because it's pretty expensive. Bucks, so it's like, or <laughs> one fifty in a restaurant, yeah, yeah. but so That's somebody could go out and buy it. Though, where would you buy stuff like that? I so you can buy because a lot of people ask me as well, like, hey Martin, where can you buy all this crazy waters? What you had last time on the show. And we said, uh, it's Aqua Maestro in Florida. So these are the people who can actually, or they're importing mostly of the very unique waters in this country. So you can call up Brad. This is his name, Aqua Maestro. And can you last say time, that slower? Aqua Maestro. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and he even gave... Uh, like Aqua Maestro? Yes, here we go. Okay. Look, my German accent, my no, funny German I, accent again, huh? Believe me, I, I just wanted to, I wanted to make sure I was... Thank you. So, Aqua Maestro. Aqua Maestro, yes. In 
Florida. In Florida. So you Google in Aquamaestro. Fort Lauderdale. Okay. They sing in Fort Lauderdale. And okay. then you will find them right away. Last time, and I will talk to Brett again, last time they gave actually 10% off for everybody who mentioned your mom's house podcast. What? Yes. <laughs> so because they had so many inquiries suddenly for a skill. Then. Okay. So that was kind of cool. And I think this is a nice thing. And for sure, Brett will do this again when you call him up and say, hey, I, I listened to your mom's house podcast. I and I heard Martin. Party. Yeah. For okay. sure, he will do something again. Okay. He's a nice guy. Um, yeah, that was he likes to hydrate very people. interesting. Yeah. Um, can I switch to the next one here, the next yeah. page? There's so next there's picture? a next next picture already, uh, and you can see the vessel. fucking nuts. Uh, where these icebergs are collecting. So this ship goes out, picks up, like scoops up, almost like a fisherman yes, like, would be picking correct. up shrimp, and just has a boat yeah. full of icebergs. Yeah. Yeah. And then they take yeah. that back to some factory and... Correct. Correct. And then they're diluting this water, obviously, into the bottle. That's, so it really has never touched anything? Nope. Just icebergs and the glass. That's wild, man. And then our mouth now. Yeah, that's, that is wild. It's a fun product. Yeah. I like this. And they won, because I told you, I was just Sval- Russell Leasley in... Sva- Svalbard? Svalbardi. Svalbardi. Svalbardi iceberg water. And they just won the... Uh, in China was a big water competition, and they was just like... The silver medal for taste, and then they won the gold medal for the uh, the product in general. Oh, the presentation! The presentation is awesome. Yeah, that's outstanding. Yeah, I think so too. And that's I have to say that's like a lot of people at my restaurant. They are obviously going in the water menu, and they see this beautiful bottle, and they say like, "Do you know what? Hey, sh- I want to drop 150 bucks for a water." Yeah. Why not? Why not? Okay. It's an experience. Some people are driving a Lamborghini. Yeah. I mean, to 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 the gym or to hot yoga, whatever, and some people man. are drinking water. It's just how I bucks, live, eh? man. What am I gonna do? This is how we're rolling now. Yeah. Uh, these days. <laughs> <laughs> so uh what's um what's this next one? So the next one I was very surprised when I heard about this that yep. Chuck Norris has a water. Come on. This is the official Chuck Norris water, Sea Force from Texas, from his privately owned ranch. Really? Yes. He has a water. And May I see this bottle? Yes. I reached out to them and they were so happy to give me some products and said like, hey, that's so cool what you're doing. So I did already a video on YouTube about the, the taste profile of Seaforce. And I thought it would be a fun thing to bring it here to the show now today. Because yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a big Chuck Norris fan, I have to admit this. Sure. I think he's he's cool and crazy. And so I went to the homepage as well and they're saying, so Chuck Norris heard that you guys are thirsty. Mm-hmm. So he punched the grounds and made... The earth cry. Yes. Therefore, we get some water now. So it's mother's earth tears. Hey, man. I mean, I'm willing to give him a shot. Chuck Norris can try anything. Chuck Norris. Yeah. But it's in a teasnil spring water. And I love this. And they're very proud about this. That yeah. They're saying, no, we are not purifying anything. We want minerals. TDS is around 300 on this water. So, okay. That, that's So that's some, actually a pretty, pretty good, stable mineral water. That's some mineral, yeah. Yes. By... U.S. law, this is actually mineral water considered. Everything oh, right. over 250 TDS means is. it's a mineral water. Okay. So this is considered to be a mineral spring water from Texas. Sea Force. Hmm. Let's see. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. It definitely tastes different. Oh, yeah. Uh, from the... From the small body. Yeah. I think so, too. It has a little sweetness to it, I think. Mm. I'm not... I don't know. I'm not that into it. You're not into Chuck Norris, huh? I mean, I'm into Chuck (laughs) Norris. But... I don't know what it is about it. It's like... It's almost like... It's... Just under the taste I'm supposed to be tasting, mm-hmm. or just over something that's supposed to be masked. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's mm-hmm. like it's like it's very. So you feel maybe because the name Chuck Norris on it, you feel something powerful, maybe a Vichy or Roy or something like this. That's something like outrageous and taste what I we had thought last time. I just had different expectations. Yeah. Maybe that's it. I'm that might be what it is as well. Because yeah. the TDS the 300 again. Yeah, I think it's a good product. Obviously, it's not so unique. Then maybe the Svalbardi story or the Iskil, what we had last time, where it changed, changed it into milk when you're shaking the bottle. It doesn't have something so extremely unique, obviously. Also, you know what it is also, is that I think, I mean, without being as familiar with waters as you are, when you said 300 and that this would be considered mineral water, I think my brain was also like, oh, 
No, like, it's this, getting... going to have a taste to it, mm-hmm. and then it mm-hmm. tastes like very subdued. Okay. So yeah, I that just, makes sense. Yeah. I just didn't taste. I don't really taste yes. much with it. Yep. Yep. Mm. But it was for me interesting to see that Chuck Norris has a That's very own water, yeah. and I wanted to test that out, and it was I for can't me even interesting. Imagine trying to get into the water game, like trying to get into bottled water. Seems like maybe such. we should create a your mom's house. Water. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, that market is for real for all easy the mummies, crack. for for all the people who wearing their jeans high what and would, tight. What, <laughs> what would be our game plan? I mean, what source are we going to tap? Um, oh, I have a lot of connection in that. Yeah? That okay. is actually easy for me. Okay. The marketing, though, right? Uh, because I have a brand as well. It's called Beverly Hills 90H2. Oh, that's right. So, and it was last week on the Jimmy Fallon show. That's very, okay. Jimmy Fallon tasted, and you can see it on YouTube right now, uh, 2 chains tasted with Jimmy Fallon 90H2 on the show. And? And it was a blind taste test. New York tap, the famous New York tap, what's considered to be one of the best tap waters in the States yeah. versus 9H2O, and it's a very funny video. It is? Yeah, oh, my God. So Jimmy Fallon is like looking at these two glasses and tasting the first glass and realized, holy shit, that tastes so bad. Yeah. This has to be tap. And yeah. it was New York tap. And he's like, and he felt almost like embarrassed. And he yeah. said like, I love the city. I'm being grown up here in New York, but this is outrageous. <laughs> it was like, that water is just... No way, I'm not gonna drink this. Really? And two chains said right away, yeah, I don't drink tap. I don't drink tap. That's not my style. That's not how I roll. Yeah. I don't drink tap. And then they tasted 9H2O and Jimmy fell into the camera like, oh la la, this is expensive shit. Oh really? So that was good. It was a funny, very funny video. Your water's available everywhere? Yeah, not really everywhere. Right now, because it's a very small production water as well. And Beverly Hills 9H is actually sold out right now, right after the Jimmy Fallon show, obviously. We sold out right away. You got to be thrilled with that. It's crazy. It was great, but we need to produce now again. So it's very tricky. And it's not that easy. A lot of people always think, oh, they they just open a tap and they're filling this. this." No, no, because I'm a maniac. I'm German. I want to be like crazy and I want to be a control freak when it comes to this. I want to make sure this water is perfect. Yeah. So we're sourcing that water from the San Diego mountains. And I'm very very strict about where the source is coming from, which plastic, which PET we're using, because I don't want to have any BPA, any chemicals in there. It's a beautiful blue bottle. The bottle, what we showcase on the Jimmy Fallon show, is a glass bottle as well. I'm very strict about the glass as well. I'm I'm like a control freak when it comes to this. Mm. For me, quality is the non plus ultra. And I don't want to just give some water on the mass market and to, to just make a fast buck. That's not me. Yeah. Therefore, right now, 9H show is sold out, but it will definitely come back when, better when, way to be, I, right? when I feel the quality is perfect and then I will release the next batch. Great. That's awesome. I want to get a batch of that. That was important. I will bring it next I, time. I want to get a batch I will bring it next time. Um, you have one more. One more. We're going to Australia. Aqui Life. And this bottle, and you can see it already on the label, it's a little beaten up. Mm-hmm. Well, they sent me a whole case of water and actually just three bottles survived. The rest was broken. Wow. So it's all the time I have this. And obviously my landlord at my apartment always saying like, what the hell is this always? Why are you getting all these beat up packages yeah. from all around the world? Because these days, and this is the fun, cool thing about me as a water sommelier, that literally people from around the world sending me water snow all the time. You got to love that. It's really fascinating. It's also your passion. Oh, yeah. It's completely fascinating to taste all the different mineral waters from around the world. So Aquilife has a TDS of 1,300. So this Whoa. is considered a very high mineral water. Oh, and then it's gonna... a still version. And this is for me fascinating because mostly high mineral waters are sparkling waters. But this is a are still they water. Sparkling just because it's more palatable for, for minerals or no? No, I don't want to say this, but a lot of high mineral content waters coming with CO2 out of the grounds. Oh, okay. So, so it's they're a already they are also natural yeah. CO2. And Aqui Life is a still water from and Australia. You've tried with, this, yes? Yeah, I tried this already. This I is, really like this water. Um a thousand thousand three hundred. This is definitely gonna have a flavor. <laughs> yeah. It has to. It has a texture. It has a texture. It has a texture. Okay. Oh, yeah. That this is heavy water. Yeah. This is for me literally heavy. See, I never... Ex- and this is for me fascinating. And this is like what I love when I'm tasting waters. This is so unique in textures, almost 
if you're drinking like high percentage milk or olive oil. This yeah. is like the, the mouth feel. You know what's funny? You're because you know, everyone's brain sends different thoughts. I'm anticipating like my my moment before was like, oh, it's gonna be salty. Like that was my my thought. Mm -hmm. Sure. But it's it's like oil. Mm -hmm. But like, it's oil. like smooth, yeah. like yeah. like mineral oil, yeah. like uh it's almost like if olive oil was something you could drink, right? Yes. It's like a richness to it. When you would close your eyes, you would think you would drink olive oil or you would drink milk or something yeah. like this. You would not think this is water because it's so heavy mm -hmm. in your palate. And this is for me fascinating. That's the reason I'm trying to get them. They don't have distribution right now in the States. I'm trying to get them on my new water menu, what I will launch at Patina next month. Because I think it's something so unique. I want to showcase that. That is a water for me again, like what my brain is like, holy cow, that yes. is so cool that Mother Nature gives me something so crazy and so unique. Of the three, for me, by far the most unique taste. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, and the first one's by far the most unique story. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and also very satisfying. Yes. Yeah. 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 But I think it's an interesting exercise again to see three still waters this time. Last time I brought yeah, the, still the and sparkling. Yeah, the mix and match was amazing. And I wanted to, wanted to showcase even still water. Yeah. Tastes differently and has a different texture and and can taste completely different. This is so cool. Um, yeah, man, I'm fascinated. And so again, if you want to try people, because we got hit up like to, you know, the people wanted me to keep posting about the waters and Aqua Maestro. Yes, in, in Fort Florida. Mm -hmm. um, bookmark that. You should, if you are a foodie, if you love restaurants, you come to Los Angeles, go to Patina. And you could even possibly meet Martin and and try some water. I'm trying to be there on a daily basis. I'm so trying my best. Um, and then put a, a reminder in your phone to get Beverly Hills a nine o h two nine o h two o when it comes back wow. on the market. Wow.